Hey YouTube, it's Dimitri. Today we're gonna to answer a subscriber Jay's question here, which is, is stats and quantitative finance better for the buy side or the sell side? I've heard so many opinions and it's a mixture between both. What do you think? Oh man, where do you even start with this? This is really quick and easy. Stats is used for everything. The end. Um, <laughs> that's really what I wanna tell you. It doesn't matter if you're on the buy side. It doesn't matter if you're on the sell side. Statistics, statistics, statistics. Um, I know there are different perspectives from buy to sell. So sell side is more concerned with the theoretical construct of this, getting the pricing correct. Uh, there's usually a lot more rigor on the sell side, in my opinion, uh, from what I've seen as well. But you're going to be using stats to engineer things. That's how stats works. Now, on the buy side, you start looking at hedge funds, for example. What are quant hedge funds typically doing? Stats arbitrage here. Uh, stat stats arbitrage is statistical arbitrage. You're using statistics for that as well. Uh, even some of my favorite books here, which I oddly have sitting next to me, uh, Statistical Analysis of Financial Data in R. This has actual real world examples in it. Um, maybe I'll link it below. But really, you're going to use stats for everything. Even when you start thinking about financial engineering from an application of learning. So imagine you're learning derivative pricing here and you learn all the math and you're like, oh man, this is so math heavy. There's no stats in this. And then you get into the real world and you have to pull volatility here. Sure, you can just pull implied volatility, but often we're gonna be modeling volatility or mo volatility curves. What are those modeled with? Stats, guys, like Garch models, for example. I don't know, you can do all kinds of things with volatility modeling. All that volatility, volatility has to be modeled. We model that with statistics. Uh, anything and everything from interest rates, for example, as well in derivative pricing, interest rates have to be modeled out for statistics as well. Now, imagine you're at a firm, you're on a buy side, you're going to optimize some portfolio, you're using math to optimize. Again, you would like to predict out the future returns. Doing that's going to use statistics here. So statistics and probability, I have a really hard time differentiating them. They're kind of intertwined and baked together. I don't like to differentiate them as differences. They're a type of math and many categorization kind of ways you think about this. You have to use stats and probability. That's just the fundamentals of computational finance or financial engineering or quantitative finance, whatever you want to call it here. Stats, stats, stats. Stats is really everything we do. And then we have financial theory, which we apply that to. So my advice to you is do statistics as much as you can, because that's really the core and foundation of quantitative finance. Yes, we're going to program that stats. We're going to explore those relationships statistically, but we need to do that with computer science. So programming in Python or C++ or something like that. But realistically, from the quant side, if you're doing quant research, quant strategy development, model development, model validation, I view all of these as quant finance here, actual quant finance. You need statistics. Now, if you want to do quant dev or something, so I'm going to differentiate this a little bit. Quant dev is implementation. So you're implementing models. You're trying to optimize that. Programming these out, having computer science background is going to be crucial. You will not need to know stats at the level as what I would view as a quant or an actual quant, a real quant, whatever you want to call it. Um, realistically, quant dev is implementation. I That's a whole other realm. Trading, that's a whole other realm. But strategies, models, analytics, it's all going to be driven by statistics. So anyways, I hope that answers your question. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, until next time.